The Atlanta political poster board saga continues. Atlanta police say they have arrested a man for stealing Mayor Kasim Reed's posters, highlighting mayoral candidate Caesar Mitchell's campaign finance troubles. And get this, police say they caught up with Terry Morris at the campaign headquarters of Caesar Mitchell. All this comes after an ethics complaint was filed against Mayor Reed's staff for creating those posters on city time using city equipment. A senior Fox 5 I-Team reporter Dale Russell has been uncovering exclusive details in this ongoing political feud. The Caesar yeah. challenged the mayor. You know, he's finding some dirt on Caesar. <laughs> That's why I'm not a politician. In Woodruff Park, a long stone's throw from City Hall, the talk of the town is a simmering political feud. It's unfortunate that it's come to this. Given this massive federal investigation of corruption under this administration's watch, it is unwise to move forward on multi-year contracts worth billions of dollars. August 31st, Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed duked it out with Atlanta mayoral hopeful Caesar Mitchell in dueling news conferences. Mitchell challenging Reed's rush to rebid airport food contracts while still in office, and Reed firing back. And as a point of attacking me, he needs to be attacking all of the people that are beating him, and Quads is going to be beating him next because he's fading. But Reed's use of city-prepared posters attacking Mitchell's earlier troubles with the Ethics Commission led to an anonymous ethics complaint. It's filed against Reed's top communication staffers, Ann Torres and Jenna Garland. The complaint alleging that Reed's office used city time and equipment to unleash a political attack. Well, I was quite surprised that, uh, that a phone board presentation, a full phone board presentation was prepared and presented uh, in, in City Hall uh, attacking me personally. Then, after we asked the mayor's office for a comment on the ethics complaint, the mayor doubled down on his political craps game, displaying those attack boards in front of his office at City Hall late yesterday. Wow. Why? We walked around Woodruff Park to gauge the reaction in the street. Most were not happy with taxpayer funds spent on what appears to be a political ad, though the city attorney calls them posters created to rebut Caesar Mitchell's comments. He's pointing out an inconsistency in reporting campaign finances. That's reportable to the public. I mean, the public has a right to know. It seems like a personal attack between two individuals that he should handle individually. You don't mm -hmm. want the taxpayers paying for that? No, no, it's not a taxpayer issue. But using taxpayer dollars on that, if that is the case, would seem like a uh, misappropriation or at worst or, you know, just not a very productive use of resources at the very least. Back at City Hall, the thriller with Manila paper continues. Late today, Mayor Reed staff sent this video of a man they say was stealing their posters. It was around 5.15 last night, and surveillance cameras captured him calmly walking out the front door. This morning, all the posters were still gone. The man who could be mayor, no longer subject of this political paper trail, for now. This morning, one day after those Caesar Mitchell posters were displayed at City Hall, some very ugly campaign flyers were handed out on cars at parking lots right around City Hall. They were taken up, and they're now gone. But the mayor's race moves forward, clearly heating up. From Woodward Park, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News. Now, Caesar Mitchell emailed us to say Terry Morris is an occasional volunteer, he says, who was not instructed or authorized to remove those signs. Mitchell writes it's time to get back to important issues.